Hello and welcome! Silray is here with another episode of Not Good Enough for World of Tanks because we all have bad games and horrible games and whatnot and I like to upload some of them. These are essentially games where no matter how well I do I might do a million points of damage or whatnot and still end up losing the game. That's the point here of these videos. And they are kind of a learning experience to watch through some of your bad games. See all the, th all the things you could have done differently. Go through them in your head. All sorts of things like that. It's a way to learn. And it's also a way to give you folks some entertainment that everyone has bad games. You know? So go ahead and laugh at me and my poor performances and stuff. That's what we are here for. Anyways, I'm driving a T-44, which is, well, it was buffed in 9.2, but this is a 9.1 replay, actually. And I sold this tank just prior to 9.2. Finally sold it away, because even with the um, slight increase in damage per minute, as in it reloads slightly faster in 9.2 now, I still don't think it compares very well with the other Tire 8 medium tanks. It has mobility, quite a lot of it, but it just it just lacks in every other category. And I don't know what was on the IS-3 to start shooting at, to try to shoot at me instead of his previous target all of a sudden. Anyway. He really want, uh, wants me here, but uh, and I have some really bad shots, all sorts of stuff. So I'm just trying to poke over the ridge, kill some things, and uh, uh, miss some shots on an ISU, you know, the flat side of an ISU, all, all the good stuff, you know? The things you are supposed to do in games, right? They're not supposed to hit tanks, shoot at them, that, that would be like... Like warfare, like declaration of war, essentially. Why would I follow you, T26E4? You are right down there, and why not? All that jazz. And then there is an AMX 5000 behind me. For some reason, he's not really even shooting at me, except I drove into his shot. They grabbed one of the shots which was intended for the super passing, and they all want the super passing for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm quite fine with that. I'm willing to uh, shoot at that guy and then shoot at some other dudes and all that jazz. And then the IS-3 starts trying to shoot at me again. I was like, where? What? Am I that famous? No, I'm not. So, yeah, but then he gets into a nasty hold down position and I pull in a couple shots here, but uh, I just know that I need to go around him. There is no way for me to fight the thing from the front because, yeah. I could have aimed at the uh, turret roof there, that could have worked, but I prefer not to face IS-3s from the front if I can avoid it. And there is no one else going to their flank, except the 87 is now joining me, because you just see me over here. First shot, bad shot, didn't, didn't detract this thing, but this next one is a little bit better. Pull back a little, because I saw the ISU turn towards me at the end there. The problem is, I went for this flank when there is nothing else, you know, enticing these guys to... Keep facing the front, essentially keep facing wherever they were already facing. So suddenly I am the front line and not the flank which I wanted. But oh well. The ISU has moved and pushed onwards a little so I move, get out of here to try to get, get a shot in. Bad shot though. And the IS-3 decides to shoot me again. Well... Let's uh, have to deal with this ISU, finally, to get him out of the game here. He gets a shot in me, but this is where I uh, make a uh, calculated risk of, like, do I get shot at by him and killed, 
or then I will be able to get him killed with the 87 shooting at him. I could have blown up right then and there, but uh, I got insane lucky and I did not. And then there is a tracked IS-3 which I can just, you know, get, finally get behind and blow up. Right, but as you can see we lost the southern side. I didn't want to go that side in the beginning of the game because, well, I hate going on that side on this particular map. I feel it is a losing proposition 99% of the time. There is not much else you can do on the map when you go that side. But there is a lot of tanks between me and uh, our cap to, you know, interrupt the cap. And KV4 is charging for it. And for some reason these people are telling the 87 to go and cap the enemy base. Why would you send a slow poke British heavily armored TD to try to cap? It's gonna take him ages to get there. And then there is the object 416 here as well. Problem is I am one shotable by him, I actually one shotable by everything here, and I still need to shoot him twice. So I figure, well, I might just as well. A look at the, this side of the thing, because the game is lost. I know I cannot interrupt the cap anymore. Too many targets between me and the cap circle. So two ways he can come, from here or from my side. And of course I make the uh, wrong assumption, I assume he comes from here. But the game is pretty much lost at this point anyway, so I was like, well, if I die, then I die. It doesn't really matter that much. So thank you very much for watching. We lose to a cap right here.